Hello friends, welcome to another discussion on the Tutor Med channel, where everything medicine is simplified. The modified Duke's criteria is a current criteria used to diagnose infective endocarditis. More often than not, we learn the parameters of this criteria and then forget them. This is a video which shows some mnemonics which can help us remember the components of the DUCE criteria. And so let's grab our notepads and quickly go through these mnemonics of the modified DUCE criteria. And so friends, before we look at the mnemonic, let's take a brief look at the criteria itself. And so this is a picture I got online showing the modified DUCE criteria. And as you can see, the criteria is made up of a major criteria and then a minor criteria. The major criteria has two components and then the minor criteria has five components. And so in all, the modified use criteria has seven components. And to make a definite diagnosis of infective endocarditis, you need two major criteria or one of the major criteria plus three of the components of the minor criteria or you need all five minor criteria to make a definitive or a, de a definite sorry diagnosis of infective endocarditis and down here you can see that some of the components of the minor criteria have been explained in details and so let's quickly have a look at how to remember the major blocks of the major criteria and the minor criteria. And so on this slide, let's look at the mnemonic we would use to remember the components of the modified Duke's criteria. Before we look at the mnemonic, kindly pause here and then like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not done that yet. And to get notifications from our channel, please hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we post new videos like these. And so to our mnemonic, the mnemonic is Bacterial endocarditis predisposes to vascular and immunologic manifestations. That is a mnemonic. Bacterial endocarditis predisposes to vascular and immunologic manifestations and so the first two words of this sentence bacterial endocarditis would represent the major criteria while the last five words of the sentence would represent the components of the minor criteria and so let's look at the major criteria so bacterial stands for blood culture and so the first component of the major criteria is that you need a positive blood culture and then to say something about this in detail you need a positive blood culture taking about 12 hours apart from two different sites which cultures the typical organisms which are responsible for infective endocarditis like streptococcus viridans staph aureus there are other sub components of this first component but we won't go into details and so we want to just remember the component and so the bacterial stands for a positive blood culture for a typical organisms which causes infective endocarditis then endocarditis bacterial endocarditis and so endocarditis stands for echocardiographic evidence of infective endocarditis so these two are the components of the major criteria one you need a positive blood culture of the typical organisms and two when you do an echo you should find evidence of infective endocarditis which also has a sub components then remember we said that the last five words form the minor criteria and so let's look at the minor criteria bacterial endocarditis predisposes so that is the first p predisposes and the predisposes here stands for predisposing factors to getting infective endocarditis and they include iv drug usage 
So someone has been abusing or using IV drugs. So he's been using the needle. Um, congenital heart anomalies, a previously damaged valve by, say, a past history of rheumatic fever, etc. Then predisposes to. So the two there stands for temperature more than 38 degrees Celsius. Predisposes to vascular. So the vascular stands for vascular phenomenon. And the vascular phenomenon include the presence of Janeway lesions, evidence of arterial emboli, like embolic strokes in the head, etc. So predisposes to vascular and immunologic. So the immunologic stands for immunologic phenomenon, like the presence of osseous nodes, etc. Then manifestation stands for microbiology evidence which does not meet the requirements of the blood culture in the major criteria and so you have other microbiology evidence that is fine but it does not satisfy the one in the major criteria if that happens then you have a minor criteria and so these are the components of the modified dukes criteria one or to begin with the major criteria we have positive blood culture for the typical organisms which cause infective endocarditis then we have echocardiographic evidence of infective endocarditis then come to the minor criteria we have predisposing factors fever of more than 38 degrees celsius or temperature of more than 38 degrees celsius then we have vascular phenomenon immunologic phenomenon and then microbiology evidence not meeting the major criteria. You see how easy and how simple this has been made? Yes. So don't forget to like, share, leave your comments in the comment section, subscribe and hit the notification bell.